Hi friends, I'm Amanda and this is Jojo. And for today's practice, I had some requests for people who are looking to get into their splits. Don't run away. Splits does not mean that we're gonna be dropping right into our splits. This class is simply designed to help bring space in through your hips, through those hamstrings, through that low back area, so that you might one day be able to get into your version of monkey splits. I say your version because keep in mind, friends, that not everybody is actually physically able to do it. Um, be very patient with yourself, have a lot of fun, and um, yeah, don't take things so seriously. So for today's practice, um, it would be lovely if you could have a couple of blocks. If you don't have those, some nice sturdy books or something just to help bring the earth up towards you. Um, I would also like for you to have a strap. If you do not have a strap, a uh, scarf, um, a blanket, a, a towel, anything that you can just sort of loop around your feet will do. And you might like to have a blanket or something that you can fold up under your knees if you do find that you have sensitive knees. You can always also just fold over the side of your yoga mat. Other than that, just your mat and your fine self should do. So you can go ahead and roll on out that mat and let's get started. Right, Jojo? Prelude for today's practice. Have fun with it. Be patient with yourself. If you feel any emotions starting to arise, you're feeling anxious, you're feeling frustrated, you're feeling angry while we're starting to move into the hips, just keep in mind that that is normal. We store a lot of negative energy, a lot of negative emotions, traumas, etc., in our hip area. That whole space is just can be filled with a lot of yucky feelings. So um, just keep that in mind. If you do feel them starting to arise, just note that that is them leaving the body, making space for what feels good. All right, so for today's practice, I would actually like to begin, that's right, Jojo, on our backs. So you can go ahead and start to make your way down into a reclined position. And this is where I'd like you to have your strap or your scarf or um, whatever it is that you are going to be uh, using to loop around your foot. As you make your way down, just make sure that that is in reach of you. Go ahead and draw the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a little squeeze, maybe a little rock on that low back feels nice here. Go ahead and let those feet just come towards the earth. You can let the knees knock in towards each other. I invite you just to bring one palm to the belly and one palm towards the chest. Just start to notice your breath. You might close down the eyes or lower the gaze, whatever feels comfortable for you. Just noticing how the breath feels in the body. Maybe the breath's coming easily. Maybe it's taking a little more work. No judgments. Maybe check our egos off the mat. I invite you here to start drawing that breath into the belly. Feeling that belly rise as you fill up with air. The exhale softening. Just let the hands come down by your side here. Maybe take a moment to set an intention for yourself in this practice. Maybe as simple as creating space. Maybe you do have the goal of making it into the splits setting your goal to be patient with yourself on the journey there. Maybe you just need to connect with yourself, send yourself a little love. Whatever you need today, setting that intention. Nice breath in. On the exhale, draw the knees back in towards the chest. Maybe draw the forehead up towards the knees. Give yourself a squeeze. 
Exhale, releasing yourself back down towards the earth. Go ahead and bring that right uh, ankle towards the left knee. You're gonna go ahead and aim that right knee away from you as you're staying flexed through the right toes just to protect that knee. This might be enough for you. Maybe you're gonna step that left foot up onto a block or a blanket or something. Maybe you're going to interlace your fingers behind that left leg as you draw the left knee towards the body and the right knee aims away. Again, we're staying flexed through the toes on that right foot. Shoulders should be relaxed down towards the earth. If you have the space, maybe grabbing onto the front of that shin. Your shoulders are your telltale here for if you've gone a little too far, the shoulders are hiking up. If you've gone too deep, just backing off just a little bit. Try and release into that hip. Maybe stillness is where you are today. Maybe a little rock feels good. Maybe a little movement side to side, this gentle rock. You start to create some space in through the hip. One more breath here. Coming through stillness, if you did find movement, go ahead and release that uh, left leg. You can let the foot come to the earth. Go ahead and cross that right knee all the way over the left. So again, this might be enough for you. Maybe you're feeling a stretch here. Maybe you're gonna draw the knees in towards yourself. Maybe you're gonna hold on towards the knees or the shins. Maybe you have the space to reach for the ankles or the feet. Coming into this reclined version of shoelace. Shoulders should still be relaxed down towards the earth. You should feel some space across the collarbones. Breathe into the hips. Soften the forehead, soften the jaw, deepen the breath. One more breath here, filling into the belly. Exhale, releasing as you do, gently releasing those feet, letting them come back down towards the earth. You can undo that cross on the legs. You can tick tock those feet about hip width apart, maybe a little width of the mat. And you might just let those knees fall side to side. Feel a little windshield wiper, wipe that out. Knees come back through center. This time the left ankle is coming towards right knee. You're gonna aim that left knee away from the body. Go ahead and start to draw that right knee in towards the body. Maybe it stays flat on the earth and that's deep enough. Maybe you're interlacing the hands behind the, the thigh, maybe behind the shin, depending on how open you already are. Shoulders should be still relaxed towards the earth. And you want to make sure that you're staying flexed through the toes on that left foot so that you can protect your left knee. So just embracing where you are, feeling into that hip, allowing the breath to create some space there. You should notice that low back against the earth. Taking any opportunity to really be mindful, be present. You've taken this time out of the day to be here for yourself, so I invite you to spend it here. Rain in that monkey mind. One more breath here, softening into the hip. Go ahead and release the lace of those fingers. If you had them interlaced, then that right foot will come towards the earth. Go ahead and cross that left knee over top of the right. Maybe this is good for you. Maybe you're gonna step the foot up onto a block. Maybe you can reach for the knees, maybe the shins. Maybe your hands can come towards the ankles or the feet. Coming into this reclined version of shoelace. Shoulders are nice and relaxed. And try and send that same relaxed feeling into the face, despite the feelings and sensations that might be arising in the hips. Feel that breath into the belly, friends. Only going to be here for a moment.
One more breath. Start to release those feet nice and gently. You'll find that right foot finds its way to the earth and you can uncross the legs. Tick-tock those feet about hip width apart, maybe use mat width and just windshield wiper them side to side. Lovely. Knees will come back through center. Go ahead and tick-tock them back in. You can bring that right foot up towards the sky, heel towards the ceiling as though you could step onto a cloud. And I'd like you to reach for your strap or your scarf or whatever you have here, blanket, towel, maybe a pair of extra pair of yoga pants. You can inter or, uh, go ahead and bend through the right knee and you're gonna put that strap or whatever you have on the uh, bottom of that right foot, the pad of that right foot. So you can either keep that left knee bent or maybe you can let that left knee come out nice and long. Shoulders should still be relaxed down towards the earth. You want to release that heel towards the ceiling. Imagine that you're drawing those toes back behind your head like you want to touch them to the earth, but they probably won't make it. That's all right. So go ahead and release the back of this leg here. Send your breath there. And soften through the face. Really work it, letting that heel be soft and released and as though it's aiming towards the sky. Feel that nice release down the back of the leg here. Now I invite you to go ahead and start to grab onto that strap or scarf with your right hand. You might interlace it around so that you feel nice and secure. Let that left arm come out nice and wide, palms up towards the sky. We're gonna begin to let that right foot fall open towards the sides. That right elbow will come down towards the earth. It can work as a little kickstand here to uh, support you. You might switch the grip on the hand so that the wrist is facing down. Play with the positioning on the wrist so that this feels accessible to you. That left hand might be on the left hip to help you feel nice and grounded. Keep in mind your leg might be up here, that's okay. You might even stack some cushions or something under that right leg, right hip, so that you feel a little more supported. Just trying to create some space here through that groin area, through the hip. Let your face be soft. You wanna make sure that left shoulder is still on the earth. Pass through that heel on the right foot, drawing those toes towards your body. One more breath here. On the exhale, really just let the leg soften. Next inhale, we're slowly going to start to draw that right leg back up towards the sky. You can switch the hands on the straps. This time we're going to interlace with that or wrap around with that left hand or grab on with that left hand. Right arm this time is going to open up into a T out to the side, palms towards the sky. Go ahead and turn those toes in a little bit towards the left here on that right foot. So the toes just go tick, tick, tick towards the left. Take a nice breath in. And on the exhale, we're going to start to let that right foot drop over towards the left side. That left elbow will come down on the earth as a little kickstand. Again, play with the Flip of your grip just to see what feels more comfortable for you. This should not feel like a whole lot of effort. We want to use as little effort as we can so we can put that focus into releasing where you feel the stretch through that hip. Releasing, putting, turning those toes slightly towards the earth. You should feel maybe a nice little neural stretch through that right side. Gaze can be up at the sky, maybe over at the right hand whatever feels best for you. Breathe space into the leg here. One 
one more breath, breathing into the belly. Exhale, feeling it release through that hip. Next inhale, you can start to draw that right leg back up towards the sky. You can go ahead and bring both hands back towards the strap. Walk those hands up the strap. Imagine that you're going to draw those toes behind your head. Take a nice breath in together. And on the exhale, you're going to start to draw the forehead up towards the knee as though you want to touch the nose to the knee. Probably won't make it. You're drawing that right foot behind the head. So a nice release through that back of the leg. Really let the heel go. Try not to hold it here. Be really conscious of letting that release. Like tuck to the chin here. One more breath, breathing in. And on the exhale, you can start to let yourself soften back down towards the earth. The hands can walk down the strap. You can slowly start to lower that right leg, maybe taking the strap off the foot. <laughs> lower that right leg beside the left. Give those legs a little shake, give them a shake out. Maybe notice that one side feels different than the other. You can go ahead here and start to bend through the knees. Soles of the feet to the earth. Position, reposition yourself if you need to. That left foot's gonna come up towards the sky this time, uh, as though that you could step that foot onto a cloud. Go ahead and start to bend through the left knee. And you can Bring that strap or scarf or whichever you have around the bottom uh, pad of that right foot or left foot, sorry. You can keep the right knee bent. Maybe you're going to let that right knee come out nice and long. We're going to start to draw those toes behind our head or at least imagine that we are. Try and release the back of the leg here, release through the heel. Imagine that that heel is sending up towards the sky and the toes are sending behind your head. Let those shoulders still be soft here, still feel some space across the collarbones. Notice if you've created any lines in the forehead, can you soften them? One more breath. I'm gonna start to wrap that uh, strap or scarf uh, with our left hand. You might wrap it around, maybe just hold on to it. You can let that right arm come out long beside you, palms up towards the sky. Take a nice breath in. And on the exhale, we're gonna start to open that left leg up to the side, opening it nice and wide, creating some space through that groin area. That uh, left elbow is gonna come towards the earth and you can play with the the flip of your grip here and see what feels more comfortable for you. Maybe that right hand is on that right hip to help ground you. Breathing into the space that you feel the hip, into the, <laughs> into the space where you're feeling the stretch, possibly in the hip. Release through that heel. Find one more breath here, breathe in. Exhale, feeling it soften. Next inhale, starting to draw that left leg back up towards the sky. You can go ahead and switch the hands, this time the right hand coming around the strap. Left arm can come out towards the side, palms to the sky. Just tick, tick, tick those toes on the left over towards the right. Take a nice breath in. And on the exhale, start to let that left foot drop over towards the right. That right elbow will come onto the earth for the support. You can play with this flip of your grip. Just tick, tick those toes a little towards the earth. You should feel this nice stretch along the outside of that left leg. Trying to breathe into it. Note any feelings of anxiety. Soften yourself. One more breath. And letting yourself go on the exhale. Next inhale, starting to draw the left foot back up towards the sky. 
go ahead and walk both hands up that strap this time. You want to imagine like you're going to draw the toes behind your head, probably not going to make it. Take a nice breath in. And on the exhale, start to draw yourself up, forehead, nose coming towards the knee, like you want to drop those toes behind the body. One more breath here. On the exhale, you can start to let yourself, lower yourself back down. Hands coming down the strap. You can bend through the knee a little, bring the strap off, and you can start to lower that left leg down beside the right. And give those legs a little shake. Lovely. You can draw those knees in towards the body. Give yourself a squeeze. Maybe the forehead comes towards the knees. From here, we're going to bring our hands behind our thighs and we're going to start to find this rock and roll on the length of our spine. A few little chiropractic appointment. Coming to a seat, maybe catching yourself in a boat pose. So if you came to a seat, you can start to maybe tip yourself back into a boat shape. Maybe the knees are bent. Maybe their legs are starting to straighten out a little bit. Whatever this uh, shape looks like for you. Maybe you need to use a moment to draw those fleshy bits out of the way so that you have the space to come into your version of a boat pose. The hands can come out uh, in front of you. Maybe they're behind the thighs. There's lots of versions of this shape just starting to create a little fire through the core. So we're really proud here through the heart. That low back is uh, nice and strong here. We're not caving into it. We're proud across the collarbones. And the, have I distracted you enough yet? Do you feel the shake? Do you feel the quiver? Lovely, you can start to draw those feet in towards each other, the pads of the feet, and you can drop those feet towards the earth, letting the knees come out nice and wide. If this feels uncomfortable for you, you might like to sit up on the edge of a blanket or a cushion or something, just to help bring the hips up nice and high. It makes it easy to sit up nice and tall. So you can draw the bottoms or the, the heels in towards the sit bones. If it's too much, please feel free to move the feet out a little bit. You can also stack some blocks or anything underneath the, the, the knees here. Losing my words. Hands can come towards our heart center. We'll take a nice breath in, gathering our energy. And on the exhale, we're going to start to send the fingertips out in front of us as though we're holding on to the sunshine or a beach ball and we'll start to lower ourselves down. Palms will come towards the earth as the hands arrive. Take a nice breath in, feel long through the spine. Exhale, roll yourself down, just starting to relaxing yourself here. Let the back of the head, let the back of the neck go, the back of the body. Maybe give the head a little shake. Let those knees just fall towards the earth as they will. Next inhale, we're going to start to bring our gaze up nice and long through the spine. You can start to walk those hands back in towards the body. We'll use the help of our hands to bring our knees back up and we'll start to make our way into a tabletop shape. So coming into a tabletop shape, anything off to the side. Once you arrive, we're going to stack our wrists over our shoulders over our wrists and our hips over our knees. Spread those fingertips nice and wide here. And then starting at that low back, I invite you to start to drop through the hips, and then through the belly, through the heart, knees comes up. Exhale from that low back. Imagine that you have a tail that you're starting to tuck and you're pressing the earth away and the chin rounds in towards the chest. Inhale, drop through the hips, through the heart, gaze comes up. Exhale, pressing the earth away from the tail, through the heart and the chin. One more just like that. Inhale, exhaling into cat. Coming through neutral here, your neutral spine. Go ahead and tuck those toes behind you. Get really strong into your foundation of your hands here. Spread those fingertips nice and wide. Feel those fingertips root into the earth. 
take a nice breath in. And on the exhale, we're gonna start to send the hips up towards the sky as you press into those hands, pressing the earth away. Heels are aiming towards the earth. They might not make it there, that's okay. You wanna feel really strong through your foundation. Imagine that you could squeeze your head in between your biceps. Hips aiming towards the sky and heels aiming towards the earth. You might choose to bend through one knee and then the other, walking the dog out here. Maybe stillness is where it's at for you today. Just a reminder, this is your practice, so please take the shapes as you need them. Do not hesitate to make modifications or sit anything out. Coming through stillness, if you did start to find movement, take a step in towards the center line with that left foot a little bit, and on the inhale, we're gonna start to draw the right toes up towards the sky. Try and keep those hips square, so we're not opening that hip up, but we're trying to keep the hips square. We're still nice and strong through the hands, through the shoulders, and that right foot is aiming towards the sky. Squaring off those hips, the left heel is aiming towards the earth. On the exhale, we're gonna start to send ourselves forward. That right knee will come through our center line and you can step that right foot in between the hands. Go ahead and plant that right heel at a 45 degree angle. Then you can start to bring yourself on up if you feel nice and sturdy through your foundation. So you might like to widen the stance of the feet here so that you feel nice and sturdy. That back foot's at a 45 degree angle and you might walk it in a little bit to shorten that stance. We're gonna to start to straighten through that front leg, that right leg. We're gonna square our hips off with the front edge of that mat. So we're nice and straight through that front leg. Our hips are square. Hands can come towards the heart space. Feel nice and tall here through your spine. On an inhale, go ahead and bring those fingertips towards the sky. And on the exhale, we're gonna to start to send those fingertips forward like we're holding onto that beach ball, but try and keep those hips nice and square again. You might need to walk that back foot in a little bit more in order to do this. Reaching, 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 take a nice breath in. And on the exhale, you can start to lower yourself towards that right leg, maybe using some blocks on either side of that right leg feels good for you here. Maybe you don't need them. On an inhale, we're gonna to start to, you can even hold on towards the shin or maybe you can hold on to the earth, wherever you are. Inhale, we're gonna come on up with our spine, nice and tall. Exhale, rolling yourself down, nose towards knee. Inhale, rolling yourself up, making sure those hips are still square. Exhale, nose towards knee. Next inhale, rolling yourself up and exhale, rolling yourself down, nose towards knee. Go ahead and inhale, find length through that spine. We're going to place that left hand here on the earth. Maybe we're going to place it onto a block. We want to be really cautious that our hips are square here because you can really throw off your SIs, uh, your SI if you're not. Maybe this is where you're gonna stay. Maybe this is good, this has been enough. Maybe you're gonna start to open that right arm up towards the sky, feeling deeper into that right hip. Feeling into the body, into the breath, being really cautious here of that low back. If you do have any low back problems, avoiding the twist, just staying here. One more breath, breathing in, reaching through those fingertips. Exhale, you can start to release that hand down towards the earth. You can move anything, any blocks or anything off to the side. And I invite you here to just step your way towards the front edge of the mat. Take a nice inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, we're gonna fold. Inhale, we're gonna reach for that sky, palms will touch. Exhale, hands will come through the heart space. Next inhale, we're gonna reach for that sky. Exhale, we're gonna to start to send our fingertips wide as they scoop back. We're sinking into our hips as we bend into the knees. Make sure your feet are about hip width apart. Imagine that you're scooping up some, some bubbles or some foam with those hands, shoulders nice and soft away from the ears. 
Give those toes a little twinkle so you know you've got that weight back in your heels and then let the toes come back down towards the earth. Really nice and strong here in your chair pose. Inhale. Exhale, sink those hips a little lower. One more breath. This time on the exhale, you can start to straighten through the legs as you hinge yourself at the hips coming forward. Inhale, find a halfway lift, nice flat back. Exhale, fold, release, just let yourself hang out. The hands can either just uh, be loosey-goosey, maybe you're going to hold on to opposite elbows here. Bend or a generous bend into the knees, maybe finding a little sway side to side. Let the head be heavy. You try nodding yes. All the opportunities life has for us. You try practicing shaking your head no. Sometimes we have to use that word even if we don't like it. Coming through stillness, if you found movement, you can release the hands back down towards the earth. Inhale, find a nice halfway lift. We're gonna plant the hands. We're gonna step ourselves back, finding a plank, shifting yourself forward over the wrist. Keep those elbows nice and close to the body as you start to lower yourself down onto your belly. Inhale, finding a baby cobra as the toes are untucked on the earth. Rolling yourself up, shoulders away from your ears. Roll yourself back down. Go ahead and tuck the toes, hands underneath the shoulders. You're going to send the hips up towards the sky, finding downward facing dog. Taking a second here to get situated in your downward facing dog, any adjustments, maybe walking it out. Strong through the foundation, really spread those fingertips wide. You can squeeze the head in between the biceps. Hips are aiming towards the sky and heels are aiming towards the earth. You can step that right foot a little more through center line as you start to send those left toes up towards the sky. Try and square those hips off. We're not trying to open the hips up here. Square those hips off. It might feel different on one side to the other. And then remember to stay strong through those shoulders, through those hands, and let that right heel aim towards the earth. Pointing those left toes up and away. You might be way down towards the earth, that's okay. Just embracing what this shape looks like for you. Take a nice breath in. On the exhale, starting to send your weight forward as that knee comes through the center line. You can go ahead and step that left foot in between the hands as you need. You can lower that back heel, maybe stepping that back foot in a little bit as you start to come on up. So you might step those feet wider apart, maybe closer together so that you can really square those hips off with the front edge of the mat. So you can, if you put your hands at your hips, that will help you show that your hips are square. You don't want one way back. You can start to straighten through that front leg Square those hips off at the front edge. Maybe walking that back foot in a little more to make it easier to do so. Shoulders are soft and away from the ears. Hands come to the heart. Take a nice breath in as we hands come towards the sky. And on the exhale, as though you're holding onto that beach ball or the sunshine, starting to sand yourself forward. Staying squared through those hips with the front edge of the mat. Shoulders are soft, inhale. And on the exhale, you might start to release the hands down towards the earth. Maybe coming to some blocks. You can always play with the height of them. Maybe you're holding on to the shin. Make sure those hips are squared though, wherever you are. Take a nice breath in, growing long through the spine, crown of the head coming up. And on the exhale, we'll start to Release ourselves down, nose comes towards me. Inhale, rolling yourself up, crown of the head, growing long. Exhale, nose comes towards me. One last time, inhale, rolling yourself up. Exhale, rolling yourself down, nose towards me. 
Inhale, coming up through the crown of the head, making sure those hips are square, maybe grabbing onto a block or something to place on under that right hand. If we have any problems with our low back or SI, we're not going anywhere beyond this. But if you have the space and you want to explore, you might start to open that left arm up to the side, making sure you stay squared off through those hips to protect that low back. You start to feel a little deeper into that left hip, the left side of the leg. Breathe into it. We won't be here long. Take one more breath. Reaching through those fingertips on the left hand. Exhale, you can go ahead and start to release the hand down towards the earth. You can move that block off to the side, get bendy through that knee, and you can step yourself towards the front edge of the mat. You're gonna start to scoop those hands forward as the hips come down towards the earth. Imagine you're scooping up some foam or some bubbles, shoulders away from the ears, give those toes a little twinkle. And if a, if a chair pose is too much for you, always feel free to bring the elbows or the forearms to the shins for this camper's pose, aptly named. Hips are lowering, feel strong through the legs, take a nice breath in, reach through those fingers and sink through the hips. On the exhale, you can start to send the fingertips wide as you straighten through the legs, swan diving yourself forward. Inhale, find a nice halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, get nice and bendy through the knees, release the back of the body. We find this little sway side to side. You're starting to straighten through one leg as the one leg bends and then the other. soft and bendy in our knees. Go ahead and start to reach those hands wide as the arms come towards the sky. Palms reach, they touch. Exhale, hands come through the heart space. And now we're going to reach towards the sky. Exhale, hinging at the hips, coming forward. Go ahead and inhale, find a nice halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant the hands. You can step or hop your way back into a plank shape. Go ahead and shift the weight over the wrists. Always an option to lower yourself onto your knees here. Shift the weight over the wrists, elbows nice and close to the body as you start to lower yourself down onto the belly. You can untuck the toes, hands under the shoulders as you inhale. Find a baby cobra, maybe an upward dog is where it's at for you. Rolling yourself down. Go ahead, hands come under the shoulders, tuck the toes. We're gonna send the hips back up towards the sky, downward facing dog. Take a moment here in your downward facing dog. Get strong into your shape. Maybe notice how this shape starts to feel a little different than the first down dog of your practice. Go ahead and start to walk those toes, the left toes a little more through center line as you start to Send the right toes up towards the sky. Send those right toes towards the sky. Strong through those hands, through those shoulders, left heel aiming towards the earth. And here I invite you to start to let that left or right heel, sorry, start to open up towards the, just starts to fall open towards your bottom. Opening through that right hip a little, but try and keep the weight equal in both of your hands. Try not to let the weight shift all the way to the left really equal. Go ahead and start to square those hips back off. Take a nice breath in. And on the exhale, sending that knee through the center line, nice and strong. You're going to step that right foot in between the hands and you can lower that back knee down towards the earth. You're going to go start to come on up onto your knee. I'm going to square your hips off here and try and keep that left knee a little closer under the left hip than you might feel inclined to do as a yogi. We're gonna imagine here that we have a tail and we're tucking it under us behind, um, between our legs. You should start to feel a nice release across that left hip flexor here. Soft through the face, deep with your breath. 
be quiet with the mind. Just observing the thoughts coming in. One more breath here. You can go ahead and um, start to send your uh, right leg long. You might step that right foot out a little bit away from you. Hands can come onto either side of that right leg, maybe onto some blocks. Inhale, go ahead and roll yourself up. Exhale, roll that nose down towards the knee. Inhale, roll yourself up. Exhale, rolling down. One last time, inhale, rolling yourself up. Exhale, rolling yourself down. Inhale, rolling back up, bending back into that right knee. You should notice there's some more space here between your uh, the hip. You can go ahead and start to bend through that right knee, maybe reaching for that left foot. By right knee, I meant left. Maybe bending through that left knee, maybe reaching for that left foot with the right. And that left hand stays on the earth. You can start to feel a nice stretch through that hip flexor as you draw the right the left heel towards your bottom. You go ahead and start to release that uh, left foot. That right hand will come onto the inside of that right foot. And this might be enough for you here, maybe this is where you stay, but I invite you to try and tuck that left knee up. Give that left knee a little tuck, maybe a little shift through your hips back and forth as we find our lizard pose. You can start to lower that back knee. And here I invite you to bring the blocks onto either side of that right leg. This is where you can start to play with your monkey splits. So you might tick-tock that foot back a little more behind you, maybe tick-tocking that foot forward a little more, maybe bring those toes on that right foot up towards the sky and try and square the hips off with the front edge of the mat. So squaring our hips off like we were before. Maybe we're just hanging out up here. Maybe this is what it looks like for you. If you do have an extra block or extra props, you might like to take them and place them underneath that hip. You can even start to lower yourself down and play with it. Maybe coming onto oof, oof, that block on underneath the leg. Try and square those hips off, nice and tall through the spine. This can really help to open up if you do have the blocks available. If you don't, maybe just using some support on either side and letting gravity do its own thing. So just finding what works the best for you here. If you do have that block under the leg, you can hold it for about nine, 10 seconds, and then you can, it's not always gonna look graceful, move it off out to the side. You can might start to slowly just notice that you get a little closer, a little closer, a little closer, a little closer until maybe one day you find that you are actually in a version of splits. So you wanna make sure that that back leg is straight behind you. Try to keep those hips squared off a little, or just keeping them squared off in general. Backing out of this whenever you needed. And when you're ready, you can start to just draw that leg back towards you as gracefully or ungracefully as it looks. Go ahead and just bring that knee back, maybe back to a tabletop shape. Give those hips a little shift side to side. And work that out. Just keep in mind you may never make it all the way down. So just be patient with yourself. Sometimes our bodies just aren't designed to get there. I am hypermobile, have a lot of flexibility. Back to that tabletop, strong through those fingers, through those palms, give those toes a tuck. We're gonna to start to send our hips back up towards the sky. Heels towards the earth, hips towards the sky. Let that head be heavy. 
into your downward facing dog. This time we're gonna step those right toes through the center line a little more. We're gonna start to send the left toes up towards the sky. Try and square those hips off to start. You might start to let that left heel drop towards your bottom, strong through both hands still. Try to keep the weight equal in both hands, opening up through that hip, left side. Next inhale, you can square those hips back up. Exhale, you can start to send that knee forward, nice and strong, as you step the foot in between your hands. And go ahead and lower the back knee here and we're going to come on up into a lunge shape try and keep a little bit of um try and keep your knee a little closer under the hip here so you draw the right hip forward the left hip comes back we want to keep our left knee over top of our left ankle imagine that you have a tail here and that you're scooping it underneath in between your legs and you should start to feel a nice release across that right hip flexor this time hands can be on the left hip left thigh for a little support. Really trying to release through that right side. One more breath here. Start to send the weight back as you straighten through the uh, left leg. You might step the left foot out a little further to, dis to put a bigger distance here. Square those hips off again. Maybe we're going to use blocks on either side of that left leg. Maybe the hands are just coming to the earth. Inhale, rolling yourself up nice and long through that spine. Exhale, rolling yourself down, nose towards knee. Inhale, rolling yourself up. Exhale, rolling yourself back down. One more time. Inhale, rolling yourself up, proud through that heart. Exhale, rolling yourself back down. Next inhale, coming back up, starting to bend back into that left knee. So you can play with the uh, width between your legs here. You can start to bend through the right knee this time. Maybe reaching back for that right foot with the left hand. That right hand can stay on the earth in front of you. You can start to draw the toes towards your bum. I was going to say bottom and bum at the same time. You can <laughs> go ahead and draw the heel towards your bottom. <laughs> start to feel a nice release across that right hip flexor this time. Try and still press the earth away from that right side. We're not dropping into it here. We're still staying, keeping lots of space, feeling really expansive. Breathe into that stretch, the hip flexor. This can be quite intense for some. If you can't reach for the foot, maybe you're using your strap or your scarf, or maybe you're just dropping into this lunge a little bit and that's enough for you. Just embracing where you are. Release that back foot, trying to avoid any slingshot action. That left hand's gonna come on into the inside of that left foot. And you can stay here. Maybe you're gonna tuck the toe or the knee up on that right side. Maybe find a little shift into the hips back and forth in our lizard pose, our lizard lunge. I don't think I've ever seen a lizard do this lunge, but you know, I think it's best not to question yoga then. ahead and start to find your way back through stillness. You can start to lower that back knee. You can start to come on up. Now you can bring those blocks back onto either side of that leg as you start to tick tock that left foot forward as gracefully or ungracefully as you need to. Toes are up towards the sky. Square your hips off here so the right hips coming forward, left hips coming back. You don't want to be all twisted back here really intentional in our shapes because we can really throw off our low back and cause a lot of a lot of ouch in our bodies if we are not mindful and careful with how we're going into this so try and keep those hips nice and square you might start to tick tock that back knee back a little more hanging out in your monkey split 
maybe just letting gravity do its own thing, feeling that that's enough, maybe using a block or something underneath that left leg, just behind that uh, knee can really help to release the hamstring that can be really tight. So this can um, help to soften it. You can also put the block under the hip if that feels more supportive for you, but this is serving a purpose, <laughs> I promise. So if you do have the block, you might like to have it just under that hamstring, hang out here for about nine, maybe 10 seconds. I'll let you do the counting. I like to count in yoga time, which is very different than a regular second. If you have already counted your way there, you can start to TikTok that out. Maybe you're gonna to start to make your way down. Maybe you're done with this and you're coming back out already. Maybe you're going, 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 and one day you're gonna make your way into your split. I wanna take a look back behind you. I have a tendency to open my hip um, and rely on my flexibility in, uh, for my uh, hypermobility instead of going into the shape properly sometimes. So you really have to be mindful of that. And come out whenever you're ready. You can use the blocks, you can just use the hands on the earth. And like I said, it is as graceful or as ungraceful as need be. I always end up dragging my mat back with me. You can bring that leg back. Woo. You can move that off to the side. Give those hips a little shift side to side. Work that out. I invite you here to send the knees wide, toes come together. Walk those hands out in front of you and just start to send the hips back towards the heels, reaching through the fingertips. Letting that forehead soften towards the earth, along with the heart space. And the hips soften towards the heels. Feel that breath into the low back. So you can breathe into that space. Next inhale, we're gonna to start to roll ourselves forward, doming from our shoulders. So inhale, rolling yourself forward. And you'll start to feel the hips as they lower towards the earth. The legs might come nice and wide. Uh, gaze comes up, exhale, toes come back together, start to send the hips back, reaching again for that child's pose. Inhale, doming yourself forward, leading the shoulders and then dropping through the hips, leading with the heart and the gaze comes up. Exhale, toes come together, sending yourself back, reaching yourself long. One more just like that. Inhale, rolling yourself forward. The feet might come wide, gaze comes up, exhale, rolling yourself back, finding that child's pose. Lovely. Next inhale, you can start to roll yourself up. We're going to make our way onto our bottoms and you can bring those feet out in front of you. From here, you can just start to lower yourself down onto your back. Can draw those knees in towards your chest give yourself a squeeze maybe a little rock on that low back feels nice here coming through stillness if you found movement you can start to send those knees wide as you circle them away from the body feeling some space through the low back drawing the knees back in towards yourself knees will come wide Back in, one more in that direction. Go ahead and switch the direction on those circles. Knees will go wide and towards the chest. You can press them away from the body, bringing them wide and back in. One more just like that, feeling the low back. Disconnect and reconnect with the earth. Go ahead and draw those knees in. You can let the arms come out nice and wide. Take a nice breath in. On the exhale, start to let the knees just fall over towards the left. 
You might use that left hand to draw the knees a little deeper into the twist, maybe crossing the ankles or the legs to actually intensify it if you want to go a little deeper. Maybe just keeping it nice and simple. Trying to allow some softness to start through the face, through the jaw, through the breath into the belly. Next inhale, coming back through center. Draw those knees in, give yourself a squeeze, take a breath in. On the exhale, knees will come, or elbows come wide, arms come wide. <laughs> Let those knees fall to the right side, my friends. You might use that right hand to draw the knees over to the right. Gaze might stay up at the sky, maybe over at the left hand. Again, you might intensify the stretch by crossing the ankle, maybe the knees making this shape work for you, feeling that breath deep into the belly, gentle massage on the belly with each breath. Soft through the forehead, through the eyes, soft through the jaw, one more breath. Next inhale, draw those knees through center. Go ahead and give yourself a squeeze. Maybe draw the forehead up towards the knees. And as you take a breath in, squeeze everything really tight. Squeeze your forehead tight. Squeeze the whole body. Give yourself a great big hug, squeezing everything in. And on the exhale, let everything go. Let the whole body release down towards the earth. The body come out long. The feet fall towards the outside edges of the mat. If your low back's feeling a little uneasy, maybe just bending through the knees and having the soles of the feet on the earth, knees just resting in towards each other. Otherwise, we're taking up space. Give those shoulders a little tuck under your back. Let the palms towards the sky. A slight tuck to the chin, feeling that length through the back body. A moment to notice any tension in the forehead, just letting it soften. Letting the eyes relax into the sockets. Giving your jaw a little wiggle side to side. Letting the tongue fall away from the roof of the mouth. Feel that relaxed feeling spread into the shoulders as they melt into the support of the earth. Same relaxed feeling spreads through the torso and into the hips. Begin to feel heaviness through the arms, through the legs. Slight twinkle of energy in the fingers, the toes. These little signs of life. Surrender here, Shavasana. Find some gratitude for taking this time for yourself. Allowing yourself to be playful, to try new things. Hopefully checking that judgment off the mat. Embracing yourself exactly as you are. And if you have the time, I invite you to stay in this shape as long as feels good for you. Just turn off the video. Otherwise, you might like to bring a twinkle to your fingers and toes. Maybe a little rock from the head side to side. Rolling through the ankles and the wrists. 
On an inhale, reaching overhead. Nice, big, long, full body stretch. On the exhale, drawing the knees in towards yourself, giving yourself a squeeze, a hug. Pull the shoulders soft away from the ears. And say something kind to yourself, friends. Like, thanks for showing up. And go ahead and let that right arm come out long. You can start to roll onto that right side. You can use that left hand as you start to press your way up to a nice, easy seat. As you make your way there, I invite you to shrug the shoulders up towards your ears, squeeze them tight. Exhale, release them down the back. Do that again, squeeze the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, release. One more time, because three's a charm. Squeeze them up towards your ears. Just feel them soften down the back. On an inhale, I invite you to draw the arms wide. Fingertips are reaching. Gather the energy you need for the rest of the week. Palms touch. Exhale, open the mouth and sigh it all out as the hands come through the center. Do that again in case you missed it or you were a little shy. Inhale, palms reach. Exhale. That sound just tells our body to chill out, stimulating our vagus nerve. And after working into the hips, letting a lot of that anxiety out, let's just de-stress a little more. I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me. It's such an honor to hold this space for you. I hope that you had some fun playing with your splits. Hope you found patience with yourself and um, some mindfulness as you did transition and try out these new shapes. Um, I hope you feel a little more loosey-goosey through the hips, a little more space, a little less anxious. I hope that you have the most magical rest of your day because my friends, that's right, you deserve it. Namaste. Looks like I'm wrapping up alone. You would think with this many feline friends that someone would have came for the end. Well, goodbye. I bid you adieu. Not really. It's more of a see you next time. Sending big hugs and lots of love. Bye friends.